Welcome to Genetakis. My name is Mrs. Ramlo. This section of videos is on the section of animal diversity. This video is a theory video and it deals with basic terminology that one needs to know before you start learning the animals. Right. The first terminology deals with symmetry. Now you get asymmetry, radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry. If you look at the picture, asymmetry, I always teach my kids that A means the absence of. So this is an organism that does not have symmetry. That you can cut this organism in any plane and you will not have equal halves. So that is what asymmetry means. Radial symmetry means you can cut this organism only lengthwise in many planes and you will get equal halves. And bilateral symmetry is an organism that has a definite head and a tail. And you can only cut this organism in the center and then you will have equal halves. So that is definitions for the different types of symmetry. Now let's move on to body layers. Diploblastic, di means two. It's when an organism has two body layers and triploblastic is when an organism has three body layers. Now let's go to the pictures. If you look at these pictures, this is an organism that is diploblastic and this is an organism that's triploblastic. The outer layer, the outer body layer is the ectoderm and the inner body layer is the endoderm. Don't forget to always draw the digestive cavity. Triploblastic, there will be an ectoderm on the outside, a mesoderm in the middle and then an endoderm and don't forget the digestive cavity. Now, an acelomate organism, again A stands for absence, this is an organism that does not have a true body cavity. And then again, coelomate is an organism that does have a true body cavity. Now, a coelom is a true body cavity. As you can see in these pictures here, this is an organism, C is an organism that has a true body cavity. And the true body cavity allows for protection of internal organs, allows the body wall and the digestive wall to move independently from each other. Also, um, the coelomic fluid will act as a hydrostatic skeleton in certain organisms. So the coelom is very, very important in organisms. Again here, a coelomate, the organism does not have a coelom. You can see it's not there in the picture. Pseudo coelomate, sometimes you might be tested on this. Pseudo coelomate is a false coelom. It's not actually a coelom. Right. Cephalization is a very important term. It occurs only in bilateral organisms, organisms that have a definite head and tail. And this is the concentration of a nervous system or sense organs in the anterior or the front part of an organism. Now, a blind gut. A blind gut is when an organism has one opening, one opening for ingestion and egestion. A through gut is when, or when an organism has two openings, a mouth for ingestion and the anus for egestion. And then the last two definitions, an open blood system. This is where blood flows to the blood vessels and then blood flows into an open cavity called the hemocele. And then from here, from this cavity, the blood will actually come into contact with the cells. And that is what an open blood system is. Closed blood system, the blood remains in the blood vessels and does not come into contact with the cells. I hope you learned a lot from the different terminology. Make sure you know this terminology before you watch all the other videos on the animals. Thank you.